Last time we saw we can update one and also we are able to view one. So in this one, let's go ahead and we start implementing link tracking. Now the idea for link tracking is just so we can just so we can track how many times the user who created this bookmark clicked on it. Because the whole idea for the bookmarks is to be able to check them out later. Just so with this kind of feature, we can implement something like on the front end to allow the user to see which links they are least checked out, what the ones they have checked out more. So to be able to do that, the logic we are going to use is Notice how we have the short URL. So we have this, but this, but with this, we know that we can map it to the URL. So we are going to have a route on our app that will be accepting something like this. So you see how we have slash 5,000. We are also going to have slash something like this. So with this, we can pick which, so with, with this, we can pick which URL it is, and then we increment its, its visits count. So the way we're going to do that, not, not, notice that this is not under any, any, any blueprint. So we can as well put it here in our app and we let it get handled by our app. So down here, we are going to have an app, then we want to do a get. So for this, we want when a user goes to the short URL, so I'm just going to call it short URL. But it's going to be a placeholder for whatever the user enters there. It could be something like this. It could be any other, any other of those three characters. So let's have a function to handle that. So I'm going to call this one redirect to URI. And of course, we need to accept the short URI in there. And what it's going to be doing is it's going to be finding the bookmark and then, it's, and then increasing its visits count. So let's import bookmarks on here. So from from database, import that. Let's also import bookmark because we're going to need to query the DB. So on here, we can just say bookmark. It's going to be bookmark dot query. Then we want to run filter by. So filter by. So we'll filter by. So we'll filter by short URL. And then we're going to check the one that is equal to this short URL. Now, with this, we can be able to call fast or 404. So in the previous videos, we saw we were doing fast, but here we can do fast or 404, which always comes in handy if you want to throw an error. So fast or 404. So that's going to be able to throw a 404 error if you didn't find this. Remember, we need to handle a redirection. We don't need to send back a JSON like it wasn't found. So it's ideal to just throw an error just so a user knows that, hey, what I'm doing isn't working. So now that we have the bookmark, we can check if we have it. So we just do if we have the bookmark, then we can do bookmark.visits. So we're going to be increasing them. So we're going to be setting them to bookmark.visits. Then we're going to add one on them. So once we do that, then we need to, of course, update by doing a, a session commit. So db.session let's commit just like this now after we update our database then we can go ahead and return a redirect so instead of, instead of us returning the response here we can return a redirect so from flask we can also import a redirect so now here we can just return redirect and we'll just redirect to the url itself of this bookmark so now we can just redirect to bookmark.url and yeah, that should be able to work. This should be a placeholder and not a, a, the exact string. So over here, we need to define it as a placeholder like this. So now, if we did the same request, you can see that it goes to the app and it returns a redirect and it goes here. So now, if we came and did a get request for this, I'm gonna do a get. And the token is expired, but let me go ahead and uh, get a new one. And we expect it to have updated the visits count because in this case we have actually visited it. So I'm gonna go here and change the token. So if we do a get, you can see that now the visits are one. If we check it out again, so I'm gonna go here. So if we check it out again, let me just take this one again and put it here. Go, and you can see that now. If we do another get, we can see that we've checked it out two times. So that's how we implement the link tracking. Now, thanks guys for watching. If this video helped you, be sure to give it a thumbs. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next video.